Buenos dias, amigo. Good morning, guys. From Malaysia, we're still here, island hopping around. We have a big trip ahead of us today. So this morning, we've only really managed to get away, um, brush our teeth, have breakfast, give the kids breakfast, and Forrest had a mission to the beach to Put return. Put on a smelly shirt. It does smell, it didn't dry properly. There was some it's rain last night. last night. But yeah, we wanted to show you our morning routine when we're underway. This one has always required a bit more attention than this one. You're back itchy, Darwin. Yeah. Does that feel good? Yeah. I'll have to do that to him every night to go to sleep. Really? What did you make? Construction. Okay. And this is a machine. A machine? Yeah. Just do like... Like that. Okay. That was in the building. Very good job, guys. Okay, okay bowls are down here. Grab yourself a bowl each. Bottom shelf. I want this one. I want, I want this, this one. one. I want this one. Okay. I want this one. I want this one. Okay, put your bowls on the table. Bowls on the table. Bowls on the table. Okay, stop. Are you going to tip over your compact? Okay, now what do we need? Yeah. Do you know where the spoons are, Lenny? Grab yourself a spoon. Right here. Grab one for Darwin too. You only need two spoons, not five. I want two spoons. Okay. You go, Darwin. Thank you. Coffee's just a touch warm. Okay, come on. Forrest, what was the deal with the pots this morning? The deal was I've got a very sore booty after driving the dinghy oh, no. through the bumpy water for a couple of kilometres. Basically, we just had to go and drop back a bunch of dishes that that island gave us when we ordered lunch from them. That was super nice. Yeah, we forgot to give it back, so uh, literally as the boat was leaving, I took the dinghy a few k's each way. Dropped it off, the guy came out, very sleepy, but happy to get his pots back, because you can see the boat in the distance sailing away. So, yeah, it worked out well. Riley. Yo. What, why didn't we take the mothership to drop off the containers? Because... We are motoring at between 1.8 and 2 knots, which is not very fast, and it was one nautical mile there, which would mean it would also be a nautical mile back, which is a one hour round trip. So and we why just, are we motoring so slow, just so everyone knows? We run our batteries down quite low and we don't have a diesel engine and we've got just the electric engine. 
that we're just ticking along very, very slowly and there's no wind. There's three knots from directly behind us. So my arms are tied. We're snookered. We're completely snookered. We're hoping if there's any change at all, it will be in our favour because everything is currently against us. Say the moon? Yes, no way. Yes, Look, put your life jacket on you. Oh, good boy. I put it up on myself. Yeah, it looks like you're going to get yeah. to go outside now. That's what I Yeah, you can go say hi, Dada. Dad, I'm here. I got my back jacket. <laughs> How you going, mate? You good? Yeah. Good. Hi, and welcome back. So hopefully by now, this exercise is really starting to feel a lot more natural. As we've only We're going back to the marina at Kota Kinabalu from whence we came. Um, that is because we are minus a diesel engine. A few episodes ago, those of you who are following us, you would have seen that we got salt water into the diesel engine. If you haven't seen that episode, that it kind of went viral. Um, yeah. it's, it's been performing really, really well and everyone loved it. It was a wild crossing from Vietnam over to Malaysia. Um, anyway, the diesel engine got salt water in it and seeing the internals of a brand new engine be rusty Hurt. <laughs> hurts a, a particular part of your soul. Like there, there were so many middle-aged men on Yanmar diesel engine forums going like putting cry face emojis. Anyway, we were going to rebuild that one and potentially put it in for three months because the lead time on a new engine was six months, but it looks like Rapido have located a new engine. They've pulled a bit of a rabbit out of the hat, which was great. There was one in Croatia, one in Australia. It looks like the Australian one will get there first. In the meantime, we're running off complete- Electric and solar. Electric power, as you can see by the solar panels strewn around the deck here. We've got them all pointing up to the sun over here. But we're not set up for that. We were always set up to be a hybrid vessel, to be utilizing the diesel engine as well, which means that our battery bank is quite small. So... We've survived for a while, island hopping, but now it's come to the point where like, we're out of fresh water and to make fresh water using the electric yeah. draws the battery. Yeah. So much. So if we were to leave the diesel engine out, which honestly wouldn't be too bad of an idea and it's something that we're thinking about in the future, we'd double the battery bank and double the solar panels. But we don't currently have that, so we've got to go back to where we came from, wait for the engine to be shipped. It is hot. Yeah, it's bloody hot. Good for the solar panels. Here, Darwin, look, your apple. How's your apple, Darwin? Yeah. Ready, set, go. Oh, you got me. Yeah. Okay, now we need to plant 
Okay, yeah. I'll lift and you drag it forward. put the big Jenica up once before but that was on the other side of the South China Sea quite a while ago. It was also one of a million different things that I'd needed to memorise the system for. I was very much looking forward to hoisting this and I was particularly paying attention to the difference that it was going to have on the performance. Okay you can come up on that. The sail was jammed and of course by the time we'd freed it, the wind had moved forward of a beam which meant that we could no longer use the Jenica anyway. Typical days sailing. Hold up, hold up. We've been on anchor for weeks now and we hadn't seen a single market to top up our fresh food supply. So today we're sailing back to civilization, not just because of our lack of power situation, but because we'd nearly run out of food again. such a relaxing sail. We've just been playing chess, listening to Radiohead and sailing at like four or five knots. I'm so relaxed. 
and let's not forget the beautiful run I went on this morning. I'm still running after I became addicted maybe 10 years ago. I guess I'll keep running until my knees give in. Let's hope they don't because I do love running so much. And recently I've been combining a run with something on Headspace called Guided Run. We're delighted that Headspace is today's sponsor of the video because we can proudly say we love and have used their app for so long now. If you guys have been meaning to try meditation, you might want to listen in. Riley was encouraging me for years to start meditation and it wasn't until he showed me Headspace that I actually started. I think mostly because it's so easy to use and it's so visually pleasing, I get excited to open up the app every day. You might already know how many benefits there are to meditation, like how it can help reduce stress and anxiety, it can help you focus, it can help with sleep, Sleep, your self-awareness, your mood, and even your immune system. So Headspace has everything in the one spot. It can help you set up your day for you, sending you little reminders when to take a little moment. And there's lots of content outside of just meditations. There's breathing exercises, there's the sleep content, which I love. Eyes open exercises like mindful walks and runs, which is what I just did. I just did a guided run. They have focus playlists and way more. And today they're actually going to let you try it for 60 days for free. I'll pop the link in the description box below, or you can also scan the code here on the screen. I hope you love it as much as we do. That's it. Now we're gonna do a recap, and put your belly up in the air. Good, that's down with dog, but that's Lenny's knots are starting to get a little bit more extravagant. He just cable tied these ones together. So he couldn't undo the knot? No. Nah. <laughs> and when I go to undo him, he's like, don't do that. I'll spend ages doing that. We've found sailing in Malaysia very peaceful, maybe a little too peaceful, to the point of isolation to be honest, because yeah, there aren't many cruises in this area. So yeah, apart from the omnipresent floating logs, we've been alone basically this whole time, which is fine and even needed every now and then, but we were craving some company soon. Sea People, the app that is almost complete now after two years of design and construction, will help us find other sailors and shoreside living friends in any given area once it's made available for the public in a few months. Follow our Sea People Instagram page, I'll pop that link in the description box below, so that you stay updated. It's all pretty exciting. In a few short weeks, our boat will have her new diesel engine installed and we'll be ready to head off grid as we sail up to the Philippines and then over to Japan later this year. It's not just the places that have us excited, it's the people too. We're going to have Forrest and two new crew members on board for those trips. One, definitely a female, because I don't know if it really shows in the videos, but I've been going a little crazy on board recently. Give me an update, Cap. El vento is todo kaput. <laughs> no wind. We've got 
six hours worth of motoring. We're on 21% and we are seven miles from home. Mm. Mm. What do you reckon? Oh, we'll get there. It's gonna be really boring. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about the log you saw. And I saw a huge log. 10 years of vlogging with this guy and I've still got to pull information out of him. <laughs> What's happening at the moment, Elena? There's a big squall coming, so we're just putting away the solar panels and getting ready for the rain. It looks like there's a big squall. Wow, that's pretty dark, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we can just anchor up for an hour until it goes and then go into the marina when it's super calm. Or we could launch the forest in the tender and I could be driving the boat. This is with the wind and docking. Yeah. Yeah, docking a 30 foot wide boat <laughs> isn't quite as simple, is it? <laughs> we'll soon find out if there's wind. As with any other technique when you're training the mind, it's important to make it work for you. A reminder to take advantage of Headspace's offer and try meditating for free for 60 days. Just follow the link in the description below and use our code SLV2024. It's an even more beautiful, vibrant world when you see it with a clear head and eyes. Lake the main beautifully for the first time ever. We're so proud of ourselves. Look at this. Ah, deliciously folded. And luckily, there's not much wind right now, like we thought there'd be. Yeah, I know it's so beautiful, isn't it? So, yeah, we're gonna go into the marina. I love the color pink, but I'm all of that color. Orange with pink mixed together make that one. Make yeah. the beautiful color. Next time, you'll be joining us on solid land as we give the mechanics time to put the new diesel engine in. We'll be giving you a full life update with some stuff we've been dying to share. And then I'll personally be heading out into the forest for a fasting retreat. Not that I feel I particularly need it right now, but I'm all about prevention rather than cure and just making the most of every opportunity that comes my way, filling my time up with beautiful experiences. I can't wait to share those videos with you soon. See you guys in a bit. Don't forget to leave us a comment.